So hey everyone, this is going to be a quick demonstration of how well the follow feature works in Dremor. Um, right now, I put in uh, arrangement markers for verse, verse, chorus, verse, what, what have you. Um, each of the different parts of the chorus, I put, I put uh, symbols on to say the hi-hat, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I did a little bit of that beforehand. But I wanted to see how well the drummer f followed the um, follows uh, whatever the whatever track here. So I'm gonna uh, turn on this one, and I'm gonna go down here, follow that track, see what happens. So that follows pretty well. I mean, that's just, uh, these are Apple loops. That's a bass line. It's a MIDI file. So let's try it with one of the audio, audio uh, loop parts. What else? Um, change the follow to that. Now I'm changing it globally for the whole track. And you can see that by multiple regions selected. It's spinning for some reason, but OK, there we go. Um, So that's another follow demonstration. Um, it's actually surprisingly well. I mean, you can go in further and tweak stuff. And you don't have to use the drummer sounds either. You can use, uh, you know, these are MIDI files, even though they look like audio. Um, you know, you can change the sounds to, you know, use slate drums or contact samples or whatever you got, Abbey Road drums. Let's test it out with this acoustic guitar part. Let's see what happens here. Get to follow that. Um, acoustic guitar ramp. thing here let's try it with the piano it 
And of course you can change the complexity and stuff. Alright, so check out some of the other videos I have with Logic Pro. Um, see you soon.